Here's RJ. This is the cutest mug I've ever seen in my life. There's a total of eight possible characters you can get. Really shiny and pretty. This is so adorable. So happy that I got this. Hello everyone! I'm so excited to show you guys all of the things I got from Miniso and huge shout out to Miniso for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started! First thing I got is this really cute desk phone holder. This is Koya. Look at how cute the packaging is. I love the little graphics on here. Here's the back. Here's the other side. And this item costs $9.99. Here's the bottom. Let's open this up. I am so bad at opening these things. Oh, there we go. It's so adorable and it's actually really high quality. I love how three-dimensional it looks. This is so adorable. Color's great and the texture is really smooth. Look at the little tail, it's so cute. And in the center here, we have the official BT21 logo. And in the front, we have Koya. And this is the part where it stops your phone. For example, I have my phone here. I can just prop it up like this and it can stand like that. Or you can prop it up sideways so it stands like this. I personally think it works a lot better if you put the phone horizontal like this. This front portion does a pretty good job stopping the phone. And what I love about this is that it's so cute that you can literally just put this on your desk as a decoration item. Next thing I got is this mystery blind box. This is the burger party edition and there's a total of eight possible characters you can get. Here's what the box looks like. It's super adorable and as you can see, all of the characters are having burgers. I love the colors and the concept. It's really awesome. And this item is a little bit pricey. It's $15.99. However, the blind box items at Miniso are usually pretty high quality, so I'm looking forward to it. Here's the other side. And it looks like if you're able to collect all eight of them, you can make it into a sandwich, which is really cool. Here's the bottom. And here's the top. Okay, let's open this. Ooh, okay, so we got a trading card here, and this is the actual figure. I really love how everything is packaged, and look at how cute the fork and the little toothpick is. That's so cute. Here are the pieces. So this is the actual sandwich burger. This is the little flag, and I think this goes on top here. So cute. And this is a fork. I'm not sure where to put this. Something cool about this is that this is actually pull apart. So this side, you see that? You can pull it apart. Same thing with the other side. And this is for if you have multiple of these characters, you can connect the sandwiches to make a lawn sandwich. So I really like that idea. This is kind of like Legos in a way. In terms of the color, it looks really vibrant and I really love the whole 3D texture of it. You can feel the lettuce coming out of here and it's just so well painted and super high quality. And down here we have the official BT21 logo. Each of these blind boxes comes with a trading card and on the other side it tells you which character you got. These are collectible items and I really love them because I do collect photo cards so this would be something that I'm interested in collecting in the future as well. Okay, so let's see which character I got. One, two, and three. I got Shuki! This is such a cute card. It says burger party and it says I'm into burger. That's so cute. And that's a little Shuki. These cards are super high quality. I kind of wish all of the photo cards that we get in albums are also like this, but this is like super high quality and it looks really sturdy and it's also a little bit glossy too, which I really like. I'll definitely keep this in my collection. I'm guessing Shuki is in here, so let's open this package up. There he is. It's so tiny, look at it. It literally fits in the palm of my hand. Really cute. I like how it stands too. Let's give him the fork to hold. I love that. Look at the details and printing. It's so high quality. The color's great and I love how glossy and polished it looks. I did notice that there isn't a place for Shuki to stand on. 
However, there are like lines in the middle here. I think that's to help him sit. So I think we can just put the character on top and they should sit. And yes, they actually sit pretty well on this. Here's what it looks like standing up. Isn't it adorable? Next thing I got is this Koya storage cube. So the idea behind this is that if you have more than one of these, you could connect them and stack them on top of each other. And this item is $5.99. This is so pretty. So we have Koya's head in the middle here and some symbols over here, really cute with the leaf, a planet, and this sleepy sign. And I like how there's little sparkles around here. It makes it really shiny and pretty. So these are just areas that you can attach any cubes. And this is the back. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is basically a place for you to store any items you want. I think this would be a great place to store maybe small sticky notes or I'm not sure if you can fit photo cards in here, but maybe like stickers, of course, or some just loose items that you want to store. You can definitely put it in this. And I like how the sparkles go around this whole box here. It really makes it much more aesthetic. Koya's head looks really cute. It's 3D right here. Next thing I got are these really cute ceramic cups. I literally fell in love with these when I saw them and I had to get a few of them. I got Koya, Tata, and last but not least, RJ. Let's open these up. Let's take a look at Koya's first. This is what the item looks like. It can hold up to 425 mils of water or any liquid that you want. This is a ceramic cup. This is a little bit on the pricier side. It's $15.99. However, this is a licensed product. This is actually a pretty reasonable price. This is on one side of the box. I really love this design. It's so cute. We have Koya here. And I just love the whole colors and aesthetic right here. Here's the bottom. And here is the top. We have Koya. Really cute. Okay, let's open this. Ooh, okay, so it's separate, which is good. And I like how everything is packaged really well. This is the cutest mug I've ever seen in my life. Let's start with the actual mug itself. So this is Koya's face. It's really cute. Something that's really unique is the texture isn't what you think it is. It's smooth and has a matte feel to it when you touch it. So it's really soft on the hands. The printing is great. I love the colors here. It just looks really high quality throughout. Here's the handle. I like how it's a little bit of like a rectangle here because it makes it easier to hold. So this is the mug and the bottom right here. Here's what it says. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. So the inside is white and it's coated. Very nice. You can hear that ceramic sound. And it does go pretty deep, so pretty good. You can probably enjoy your favorite drink inside this without any problems now this is the lid that it comes with this is made out of silicone i think it's really cute it is a little bit flexible here so you don't have to worry about accidentally like um, dropping it or anything because it won't break or anything which is really good in the middle we have koya and it's 3d which i really like the figure is super well made and around him, we have three representative symbols. We have a star right here, a little leaf, and a little sleepy sign because he likes to sleep. I like the purple color here, and this should fit on top of here. Let's see if it actually does. Oh, yeah, it does. And it's actually a pretty nice snug fit. So if you need to cover it for some reason, it will stay on. It won't just fall off easily. Super cute. Next, let's take a look at the one for Tata. Here's the front. This is also $15.99. Everything in this series is $15.99. And here's the other side. I also really like this little graphic here. It's really cute with the representative symbols here. Here's the bottom and here is the top. Starting with the mug itself, here's the one for Tata. I love the red color, it's really bright. So we have Tata's face in the middle. And once again, the texture is really smooth and matte. And I don't see any sharp edges around anything. So overall, pretty high quality as well. Here is the bottom. 
and here's what the inside looks like. Now for the lid, this is what it looks like. We have Tata standing in the middle. This is really cute. The three representative symbols. So we all know that he's from another planet, so he has a little star right here, and I always see these two symbols associated with him. Now let's unbox the mug for RJ. I'm really looking forward to this one because RJ is my favorite BT21 character. This is the front. Here's the side. And this is the side with the design. Love this one. We all know RJ is a foodie, so I'm really excited to see his symbols being displayed on the lid of the mug. Here's the bottom and here's the top. Starting off with the mug, look at how cute this is. This is so adorable. You could technically just use the mugs as is without the lid on top and they would still look cute. I do see a little bit of a chipping situation going on here. Hopefully it doesn't worsen as I use it. So yeah, but that's one of the issues that I see in RJ's mug as opposed to the other mugs. Okay, and here is the bottom and inside. Here's the lid. We have RJ sitting in the middle. This is so cute. I love the figure. It's so detailed as well. And the three representative symbols here we have is a star, this little fork or spatula, and bread. And this is what it looks like with everything together. So excited to show you guys Koya right here. I am so happy that I got this. Originally, I was planning on getting one of these from the official Line Friends store. However, I haven't made a trip down to the Line Friends store and for something of this size, it's usually gonna cost me around 50 US dollars plus minus. So that was always a huge debate of mine whether I should do that. So I was really excited when Miniso included these plushies in their BT21 collaboration because you can get these for $19.99. So $20, which is roughly half of what you would pay at the official Line Friends store. And look at how fluffy this is. Quality is amazing. I love his little ears. Look at that. It's so cute. You can probably use this as a pillow, honestly, because it's so big and it's really soft and squishy. Or you can just be like me and hug it as a plush animal. And last but not least, I couldn't get Koya without getting RJ. So here's RJ. So cute. Also really soft and fluffy. Super high quality. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked at how good the quality is for the price. So this one, once again, is $19.99 as shown right here. And you can get all of the BT21 characters at the stores. The only one I haven't seen is Van. So if anyone sees a Van plushie at their local Minnesota store, let me know. I'm also really happy with these stuffed animals. And that's everything I got from the BT21 collection at Minnesota. Overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of items that are in this collection. They're all really cute and actually pretty affordable considering that it's a PT21 product. Make sure you guys visit your local Minnesota stores and check out these items for yourself. And I'm curious to see which item you guys like the most from this unboxing. Let me know by commenting down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.